We're back in the beer garden, and regardless of what time of the year you're watching this video, it's Oktoberfest season right here, one of my favorite times of the year for drinking beer. And up this round is Yingling Oktoberfest. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, please click that subscribe button down below. Thank you for your support. Now, I come from South Jersey, Southern New Jersey, and Yingling is from Pottsville, Pennsylvania. And essentially, Southern New Jersey is a suburb of Philadelphia, and that whole region, Yingling is king. Everywhere you go, every bar, every pub you go to, you can count on getting a Yingling. Everybody you, I know drinks Yingling, and you can find it in every cooler. 5.45% alcohol. I got a six pack for $7.99, which of course, that's right at my threshold for a cheap beer. And of course, Yingling, check out my other reviews for Yingling as a cheap beer. Let's pop the top and see what we got. Uh, fairly robust open. Pulsed. Now initially, the uh, odor, or excuse me, the smell, or excuse me, the aroma of uh, Yangling Oktoberfest is a typical Oktoberfest sort of odor, uh, smell, um, aroma. You get that heavy malt aroma, which is what I like. Uh, the Mertzen, or the Oktoberfest style of beer, is uh, one of my favorite styles of beer. I was born in Germany, lived in Germany, drank many a beer in Germany, and it is my favorite style. And since I have that close personal relationship to Germany, I take German beers very serious, and especially Oktoberfest beers, and so uh, I'm kind of critical. And I would have to say, if you like Yingling, you would like Yingling Oktoberfest. My brother-in-law buys this by the case, cases. If he calls Yingling, can you bring the truck over? I'm not as quite as enthusiastic about Yingling Oktoberfest as he is. With Yingling, I'm not getting any hops, which is good. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of that bready yeastiness. And then, of course, you got that, you have to have that malt taste for it to be a true Mertzen, to be a true Oktoberfest. That's what I look for. My favorite Oktoberfest beers are Hockershore and Powlander. <coughs> For an overall value cheap beer for Oktoberfest is really not that bad. It does have the Oktoberfest characters that I'm looking for. Like I said, that yeastiness and the maltiness. I think this would pair perfectly with the paper and plastic decorations for sort of a cheap Walmart Oktoberfest celebration. Maybe I would categorize this more as a September fest or a November fest. Aber eine typisch deutsche Oktoberfest Bier nicht. For me, it's not a typical German Oktoberfest beer. So out of five stars, five being a very good, cheap Oktoberfest beer, where do I rank Yingling Oktoberfest? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five stars. So hey, please remember to click that subscription button below and uh, definitely subscribe. We definitely appreciate it. And here, check out some of my other videos. And hey, it's a beautiful day in the beer garden here. And regardless of what time of the year you're watching this, it's Oktoberfest season. So grab yourself a cheap beer. Prost.